puppies what's up what's up as you can see today we are reviewing ikea's virgil apple's ikea collaboration so before i get started just want to give a quick shout out to all my subscribers thank you all so much for subscribing uh and for those of you who have joined us for the very first time welcome and please make sure to subscribe and support you girl so today is super super exciting day because we have someone else who is here my brother Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> so let, i'll let him introduce himself to you guys and tell you about our adventures this morning we woke up super early so go ahead hi everyone uh my name i go by prince uh it was pretty adventurous being on this journey copying all these dope stuff she got the mona lisa uh, i have one too it's, uh, it's in the car right now sitting down Got two bags if you want to show them. Mm -hmm. uh, so we woke up super early this morning mm -hmm. and we were up at 4 and we got to Ikea by like around 5.15 uh, and the line keep growing and growing and yes, this price position. <laughs> I think this is my favorite, favorite item from this collaboration. Uh, what do you think? Which one was, uh, which one you like so far? Oh, of course, you know, we gotta give it off to Mona Lisa. Yeah, definitely. The fact it lights up, you know, it's really light actually. I thought it was gonna be a lot heavy, so you don't have to actually make really big holes on your wall to have this uh, picture frame stand up. This was my favorite. The second favorite was probably the carpet, but, and well, the other rug. But well, we end up getting the, the green one. Which is the wet grass and don't want to open it because then putting it back is going to be super hard uh, but it's basically the material is just like a regular carpet and it just has wet grass on it as you can see on the picture uh, then we also have by the way the size on this carpet is a uh, four by six so it's not that big it's small but it's a little heavy she got some of these swag bags where these tote bags actually one is this is the small size i don't have dimension but it's pretty decent size. You can actually put your groceries if you're running down to the store. Just, you know, wanted something really quick and heavy. To begin with, I thought this is gonna be like piece of paper with not good yeah, material. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, I'm not a, I'm still not a fan of mat the material because I thought they, they could have done better uh, with the material, but it's like a very thick material of paper material. Yeah. Uh, but I it like, looks durable, yeah. so yeah. But I like the size of this compared to this. And well, this, this is perfect for high beasts. You could put <laughs> your sneakers. You could actually, I feel like you could fit like four or five boxes. Oh, more than that. Yeah. Probably like six or to eight. Like, check this out. It's huge. This is really, really big. So, uh, especially if you're going to like SneakerCon or like any kind of those conventions to go get your. Uh, uh, extra sneakers these would be the best ones yeah so okay we got we got new totes yeah <laughs> this is definitely i think the small one's good for grocery just running around the other one's perfect if you want to go out on a weekend trips or if you're moving out so or if you're going shopping for sneaker shopping that too yeah what we got here talk about that what do you think about it i thought it was huge and i thought it was overpriced so, what do you think? Me? Uh, I think overall, you know, it's minimal. But to be honest with you, the whole collection, I just feel like him putting quotation mark on literally everything. Like, you know, I respect Virgil, where he comes from, but I expect a little more from him too. You know, being he's from Chicago, you know, he has a, a designer background, which, you know, something. That, and architecture. And yeah, architecture too. Well, design architecture, that's what he majored on then he ended up being in the fashion industry now. So I wanted to learn more because, you know, I, I design a lot of things, you know, I do typography. So I, I felt like it's pretty minimum. It's pretty cool. Like if you have this piece in your house and you tell someone, hey, can you tell me a time? It's kind of, you know, pretty intriguing. They look at it like, oh, I, I don't know what time it is. Like, like, you know, like it's all white. Like it's, you have to like really look close and actually like to tell time. But overall, I think it's okay. I yeah. give it probably out of 10 being the best, one being the worst, a 7. So Okay, well, 
I have I don't have really good vision, so I think me sitting a little further away, it will be a little hard for me to go and see the time. But good thing I always wear a watch and have my phone with me. Uh, another thing that I was a little disappointed was the toolkit. Oh yes, let's talk about the toolkit. Yes. She wanted to buy it. I had to talk her out out of it because the reason why I walked by the showroom and I saw the toolkit of IKEA exactly the same, only the handle is different. No quality control because the hammer that I picked had a stain in it, and I was like, "It's yeah. a little odd." Yeah. And the just only like I was telling you, difference was yeah. just the homework that was written on it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. it's just the top had homework with quotation mark. Yeah. Typical Virgil move. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there has been a lot of disappointing, but the best, best item was definitely the Mona Lisa, and that's something that I think will stay with me for the rest of my life, hopefully. Uh, and I love that you can turn it off and turn it on. I mean, it's just beautiful. And if you can get your hands on, the, on this Mona Lisa, I think you should for $100, uh, it's definitely worth it. Uh, also, I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the IKEA employees. They did came by and gave everyone coffee and uh, free cookies. So free coffee and cookies. So that was very sweet of them and they were very nice and welcoming. So I always appreciate that. Shout out to IKEA for being so generous. Um, so yeah, and uh, Ali, if anybody wants to follow you, yeah. how they can uh, get a hold of you because he is an amazing uh, photographer and he has very he's super creative and uh, he knows all about this more than me probably yeah she's telling me a little too high guys but you know i've been doing photography for quite some time that's like my passion my bread and butter if you want to find me it's uh, noble.dc on instagram and my website is dcnoble.com i'm a freelancer um, uh, and if you want to work on a project or collaboration, you know, shoot her an email or you can find me on Instagram or any of these social media platforms. Uh, other than that, uh, we'll be working on a couple of more future projects together. So yeah. we're going to have some more content for you guys. So, you know, keep checking, subscribe to our channel and um, we'll have more material for you guys. And if you guys have any other suggestions, what reviews uh, she needs to do or you know we need to do or we need to, yeah, subscribe and we'll have these beautiful content just rolling up for you guys all the time we definitely yes. will and come and follow him and uh, subscribe to my channel again thank you all for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up come on guys give her a thumbs and up support your girl yeah again. buy her a coffee if you buy her coffee, you're gonna give them shout out? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. If you buy me a coffee, I'll give you a shout out. Then at the same time, like I said, support your girl so we could do more reviews yeah. like this. So thank you guys for watching. Ciao. Adios.